take a moment to echo the words in the song and remind people that we're not alone. When we suffer the loss of loved ones, it hurts. It makes everything hard. We're at a loss and we don't know what to do. If we're lucky, we have others that we trust and can lean upon. But for many, it's difficult to be so vulnerable with others, and that's okay too. Everyone mourns differently, and as long as you aren't harming others in the process, if you cry, if you laugh, it's all good. I personally like to carry the thought that as long as you keep that person alive in your memories, in your heart, not only will they never truly be gone, but you'll never be truly alone. Now, you may be wondering, why am I opening with this thought? It's not what today's show's about. Uh, that's pretty much covered by the title, and we'll get into that more in a bit. No, it's instead where my thoughts landed after looking into the creator. Koko Fujiwara is likely best known for having created Uni Baku, and she was tragically lost March 31st, 2015, at age 31 due to illness. At this time, she was working on the manga for today's show, meaning that it was never finished. Due to her untimely death, the story never got a chance to be completed, and someone who could have potentially had decades more time creating stories to entertain us was no longer in this world. But despite her death, she still isn't truly gone. Studio Bones is the one deciding to pick this series up and give it a new life. Now, it's been a long time, but they do have a history of creating some well-loved anime original endings in stuff like Full Metal Alchemist and Orin High School House Club. It's unknown if this adaption of the magical girl and evil lieutenant will just adapt what exists and try to find a good enough stopping point, or if they'll try to give it a proper ending, but I do know I'm curious to find out. It's a series where the magical girl and the evil lieutenant used to be arch enemies, and then the lieutenant falls in love with the magical girl and it becomes a romance series from what I can tell. Handling the script and series composition is Yuniko Ayana, who has handled plenty of stuff in the past. I want to draw attention to their work on the Bang Dream franchise in particular, as they've been heavily involved in it via series composition. But for one particular series, they are also credited on the script. And it's one a lot of my friends have a lot of love for, Bang Dream My Go. Now, I'd like to believe that they aren't adapting this merely on a whim, especially when they could have done Inubaku Season 2, which has manga to adapt and is the better known franchise. So I'm hopeful that this will be getting an adaption that exceeds the original manga. It's always difficult when adapting someone else's work that's passed on how to go about honoring them and how to go about making it the best version of it you can, especially when it's an incomplete picture. But this is such a curious choice, I can't help but want to believe in it. My final thought is that if you're ever suffering from depression in general, please remember that is another thing that you're not alone in. Many of us are constantly fighting against the monster known as depression. Even if we're surrounded by other people, we can hide it with a smile or laughs. But the battle will wage on within. If you ever feel that the battle is becoming too much for you to handle, please reach out for help. To your friends, your family, to support groups or doctors, don't fight that battle alone. Ending this decently off topic, but Disturb actually has a great video touching on this with some great resources, so I'm going to include those in the description as well. A Norfolk night, the world is cold, we stand surrounded, we are not alone, within my Bye. 